Hello, this is Emery of DIY Cyborg in Tokyo Hackerspace. Uh, I have been working with uh, NV10 Bill Acceptor from uh, Innovative Technology for uh, a few weeks now, trying to get a system set up so our members can pay memberships automatically. Uh, I plan on hooking it up at first to an Arduino, which I have in the back here, and eventually, possibly, I'll be using a Raspberry Pi. Um, I so this demo is just uh, this video is just to demonstrate the uh, bill acceptor is accepting Japanese money and is outputting a pulse on one of the connectors. Um, this output is an open collector, which means that we have to provide uh, a five volt signal onto the logic pin. It's actually this is making a ground. So inside here, inside the bill acceptor, we have a transistor, which is pulling this circuit to ground. So uh, I'll, I'll throw a drawing up on the, the associated blog for this. But basically, the 5 volts comes through the LED and then through our resistor here. And then the signal is this white wire. Oops, I just caused my bill acceptor to reset. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, so when this and then the uh, five volt signal on the Arduino and hey, come down. And the power supply for the uh, bill acceptor share ground. So basically, what happens is this white wire will pull the pin to ground uh, when it's outputting a pulse. And so we'll see that by the LED lighting, and also on the scope, we'll see the pulses. So here I've got a, a thousand yen or a ten thousand yen bill, and I have. Uh, the bill acceptor to set up to pulse 1, 5, and 10. So a 1,000 yen bill is a 1 pulse, a 5,000 yen bill is 5 pulses, and a 10,000 yen bill is 10 pulses. Uh, very simple and easy math for me. So, so I'm going to try to get a shot where we can see the LED and the, uh, and the scope all while I insert the bill. So it's going to get noisy, but here we go. So then and you can see the LED pulsing, and well, I'll try it one more time so we can get both of these in here. So now I'm just going to try to get both the scope and the uh, LED in here. So you can see the pulse went through on the scope. Uh, I'd have to change the uh, settings on the scope in order to see the whole pulse train, but uh, you get the idea. So uh, it should be fairly easy using uh, the interrupt pin on the Arduino to count these pulses. Great, thank you.